players that made the Ready? final here that are having Play. successful pro careers and still on tour. Four checks serving. And four check does like to come in. So now 15 left. Who prides himself on his ability to uh, rip ground strokes will be having a target the whole match. Four check uh, is the number four seed, Nava the number eight seed. It's love. always different playing in the finals of, of a major event like this one, but it's good when you have two players who know each other's games. They've played a couple of times before. There's not really going to be any surprises. It's just going to be about who can execute better on the day. It's two uh, very friendly with each other as well. You could see that even when they come out came out on the court. It's a comfortable match for both of them in terms of forty left playing and a good start for four check. And it's also one of the things that they they do in junior these international junior events now is that they shake hands before the match as well as afterwards. Another wrinkle in the juniors uh, they play lets on the serve and they do get on court coaching when needed. Game frantic. Easy First game for check to start this championship. Yeah, so important to get on the board early to try to settle in as quickly as possible. Try to manage the nerves and the tension that are always there at the start of a big match like this one. Solid service hole for four check. This will be the final major as a junior for both of them. Emilio Nava to serve. Fifteen love. Again, uh, Nava is uh, an American, but has a Mexican heritage, and he's very popular in Mexico even right now. They gave him a wild card into the Acapulco Tour event after he made the Aussie Open final this year. He's played uh, several love. features and challenger events in Mexico this year. But he would. Eventually play Davis Cup for the U.S. if he was good enough. Not up. Oh, there's that. 30 to off the serve. That was, that was that's an amazing shot. Well, that's a great reaction from Forecheck. Yeah. He's got some speed. First step was very quick and good presence to hit that little angle. I wonder if you if you can practice let serves you know, I as, think as you a can. junior. Well, I know I was can. talking with Jimmy Arias yesterday because he <laughs> hits with a lot of these kids 40, in 15. IMG and he said they're playing practice. He'll play practice sets with them and there'll be a let and he'll forget. Exactly. He'll the ball drop. But that's how you, that's <laughs> the only way you can practice yeah. it. it. And when it happens in practice, you have to get into the habit of playing it. But that was a fantastic reaction. It's almost like it was rehearsed. He's been there before. Of shots one game players. all first set Nava just a little more solid there Nava's mother coaches him I thought it was interesting when he was asked what's one of the best things about having her as a coach he said her yelling at yeah. me who likes that but he said it gets <laughs> me fired up that's always positive Too many 15 love. Kids want to hear their moms yelling at them. <laughs> it's a little unusual. I don't know. My brother and I used to laugh when my mom would yell at us, so, unless we <laughs> were in big trouble. Good serve from four. 30 check. love. His first ace, that was 113 miles an hour. That's been his biggest serve now. 
Nava got up to 130 yesterday. He can crank the serve. And that was 144. So uh, the juniors have some massive serves I've noticed this year. Oh. 40, 15. Yeah, the key when returning against a big serve like that is to try to get it back. Just get, make the server hit that extra shot, and that's what Nava was able to do there. And then got more aggressive behind it. Thirty on balance, perfect contact point and extension out into the court. That's a shot that can hold up under pressure. Game for a tech. Well, servers for a tech leads two serve. games to one so far in this championship First match. One two. And there's an example 15 of how strong Nava can be from the baseline. It, he just is one of those players that seems to, you can just tell he loves to play tennis. And he talked about it over and over again yesterday how much he likes to rip shots. He loves to go for winners. He's uh, worked out some. 30 with love. Yvonne Lindell. Lindell's a big fan of his. Uh, he has tremendous work ethic and is uh, very much a student of the game. You'll see him watching a lot of matches throughout the year. He studies other players. It's kind of why he's decided to go professional. It's what he's always wanted to do. Forty a very good sign in a young player that he's eager to to watch, to learn, to listen. And it's all about improving throughout the course of a career. It's a good move, although mm -hmm. Nava lost that point, he put himself in the right position, didn't do quite enough with the volley. So well done by Forecheck to just hang in there until he got the right shot. Nava. Nava holds. Two, Two games all. First set. Two uh, moving along pretty quickly. Hey. 
15 love. Fifteen on the return and Nava looking for opportunities early behind that second serve. Forchek's done a good job with this first. Fifteen thirty. Yeah, this is good level. I mean, these two are just ripping the ball. Yeah, moving the ball around nicely as well, hitting through big lanes, and you can just see Nava. When he gets anything that he can step in on, he's looking to dictate early. It's a nice brand of tennis we're seeing. Both players with more winners than unforced errors to start the match as well. Fifteen forty. First double fault, and it's also the first break point of the match. That is a fantastic thirty point from 40. both. And four check, I mean, just kept his cool. Seeing the opening, but staying focused and making the right moves, cutting that volley off, moving at an angle. That break point slip away. Last year's winner was Tiago Wild from Brazil. And just three years ago, Felix Alge Aliassim won the U.S. Open Juniors. And the year before that, it was Taylor Fritz, born at Chorich, a recent winner. Riley Apelka was in the final the year that Fritz won, and Shapovalov was in the final as well. Advantage for Rete. This would be an excellent hold. Help! Game for Come back from four check after he faced leads two break three points games to two. way out of trouble. trying to get over the disappointment of letting Forcheck off the hook in that last game. He was up 1540 back to work on his own serve. Fifteen love. Again, uh, Nava's trained a lot in uh, 
Juan Carlos Ferrero's academy in Spain, and you can see a lot of the, the patterns that he uses in a match, much like the Spaniards teach. He likes to get his opponents wide out of the court. This is his first double fall. 15 all here. To do what Nava has just done, and that's after not converting on break points to come right back. First couple points, focus on first serves. Put yourself on even footing in these all important service games. Team. Both players have been, are being aggressive from the ground. Nava may be just a little more comfortable at the end of some of these longer rallies. Forecheck, you can tell, he's trying to push his way forward. But sometimes it's just too much depth from Nava. Game, Nava. With the ace. Three games all, first set. 15 miles an hour out wide. He's gone as big as 131 today. That's his second ace. And he's only lost one point on his first serve. And we are quickly at three all. He did have the 1540 lead the last time he returned for a check. Let's see if he can threaten to break again. Yeah, that's just a long long. Both players are doing a good job on first serves. Over 60% of first serves in for check at 63. Good volley. And for Fifteen all. It, it's been important to get not only the speed but the placement, especially looking to come in the way he's been trying to do. I want to get the opponent stretched out as often as possible. Check and 30, his partner 15. beat Nava and Cannon Kingsley in the Australian Open doubles final earlier this year. Four checks won a couple of majors in doubles this year. He won the Australian and Wimbledon. Not as much success in singles as Nava's had, though. Forty fifteen. You can kind of see how four check would be successful in doubles as well with the style. He's got a good serve. He's comfortable coming in. He can serve in volley. Important skills in doubles. Forty thirty. Four check stays in front. Four, four take three. Leads. Still four no games to three. For still set. played seven games in 19 minutes. New balls, please.
time. Nava serving 3-4 down. There's another let. And this time, four can't love. quite reach it. Nava beat another Czech player yesterday in the quarterfinals, Lahechka. And uh, one of the similarities I've noticed between the two is their leg strength. Lahechka and... and uh, Forecheck. Forecheck. <laughs> Getting all these Czech names mixed up. But they've got huge legs. Yeah, so strong. You can see with Forecheck, he's so comfortable moving forward. That last let serve, he just barely missed getting up to it in time, but he's got a quick first step moving forward. Good shot. 30 15. Both guys have been hitting the ball, and each shot, they're looking to make something happen. And these aren't just rally balls. They're either trying to move it or trying to create openings. Not, I think it's not it, winners. It's fun. I, I kind of like watching this. I mean, there's an intent to win every point as quickly as possible with these two. And it's been that way from the first point. You know, sometimes it takes. Off. A game or two for players to kind of work their way in, to find the range, to start being more aggressive. But these two, from the first game, they've been going at it. Nava trying to avoid a break point. He hasn't faced break point so far. it 30 40 and now he will face that break point just didn't have to be that big yeah overplayed it instead of playing for just a little more positioning getting giving himself a little more margin He's only lost one point on his second serve, but this second serve has been, uh, on his first serve, the second serve has been a little more of a liability. Um, missed opportunity for Forecheck. Kind of jumped at that return, didn't stay grounded. Get a, a little more spin to bring it down. Let's so look at his family. There's his mom who doubles as his coach. Also teaches tennis out in, Los, in the uh, Los Angeles area. It was a 136 mile an hour miss. Advantage for attack. Second straight break point on this ad side. Deuce. Race number three, 120 miles an hour. That's a big serve out wide to place it that well with that much pace. Advantage, Nava. I really feel like there's so much potential for both of these players that, as they move forward. You're always looking for weapons, and they both have big weapons. When you see Nava, you don't expect a 136-mile-an-hour serve to be coming off his racket. Four games he all, first set. can crush the ball, and that's an excellent hold. They both face two break points in this first set. It's four all. 
Yeah, they both have a lot of game and you can see their games growing as they get a little bigger, a little stronger. also gives you a good indicator of where 15. they are mentally as well. Who can hold on to this level in the tight times of a match right here for all. Fencing for positioning to try to take this first set. Love 30. That's what I liked about Nava yesterday. I didn't see four check play, but I love the way Nava competed yesterday. Having to win twice. It's one of those players that looks like he's just desperately trying to win. Fifteen thirty. We have some players that will just stay out on the courts all day. Doesn't matter who they're playing. Doesn't matter the format. They'll just take on you know all comers. And Nava kind of strikes you as that type. Mm -hmm. Certainly had to do that yesterday. That's big time hitting from Forchek. He has been impressive the way he's held his nerve under pressure. Coming back from love 30 in this service game. Took advantage of Nava getting tripped up a little bit there. What? 30 off from love 30 down. Ah! 40 30. There have been a couple of shots from Nava, though, that just didn't have to be quite this big. Didn't have to be as close to the lines. That is the only adjustment. Damn, great Another good hold for four check. Great pick the pressure five back games on to Nava. four for sets. As it is four or five here in the first, he's going to go over and get a little coaching at this critical juncture. Nava serving to stay in the set. This has been a, a quick start. Nine games in 28 minutes. No breaks. Team one of the best points of the match. Saw a little bit of everything. Nava in control, but then Forcheck hitting this lob, which was just perfect. Almost allowed him to take control of that one. Nava holding his ground, not panicking.
15 off. serving first, it's allowed him to maybe take a few more swings, especially in the latter stages of this first set. He's gotten a little more aggressive from the ground. His dad, uh, Eduardo, as you just saw, there was a, a sprinter from Mexico. He competed in the 92 Barcelona Olympics. Thirty fifteen. Nava not only serving big, but throwing in some clutch serves yeah. at just the right moments. Forty fifteen. Game, Nava. So Nava wastes no Five time. Five games all, first and set. Nava first serve has just been lethal for him. He's won 18 of 19 points on his first serve. Four aces. The second serve is the one that he struggled with, but he's managed to stay away from it for the most part. And now four check serving at five all. Fifteen love. Yeah, a couple of drop shots from Nava, and he's lost both of those points. That time, throwing it wide, which is the last place you want to hit a drop shot. You need to make the sidelines a factor. Fifteen off. And those are the type of moves that Forecheck he has to continue to make. Right time. Just wasn't able to get in quite close enough, but you want to keep putting pressure on an opponent in these moments. Four check service games haven't been as easy as Navas. But he's still been holding. Mr. Navas challenging the call. Navas going to go to the side chase line. review. The ball was called in. Call on the sideline. It was called good. Just touched. Good call. 30 15. Big forehand. Wow. 30 all. That's Mr. Nava has two challenges for me. Dangerous side for Nava. He's got five winners. More than twice as many as he's gotten off that backhand side. This is a big time shot. Oh! 40 30. With those winners come a few more unforced errors from Nava as well. Well, Vortek continues to Freitag stay in front. Six games to five. It will be Nava's set. turn to try to get us to a tie break in the first set of this junior boys singles final at the U.S. Open. Time. 
So Nava will be serving to try to force a tie break. Remember Nava just breezed through his matches yesterday. They only lost four games in each match. They so had to play quarters and semis yesterday because of rain the day before. Voracek survived a three-setter and a straight-setter yesterday. But he looks strong. 30 left. Both guys have been in such a rhythm throughout this match. You can see it. Confidence that they both have coming into this final. And although we've seen 30, some misses, 15. we haven't seen any hesitation in either one of them. And they're very clear about how they're trying to play. Vorchek's trying to be a little more aggressive, trying to get forward a little more often. Nava content to just pound the ball from the ground. 40-15. We've seen Nava Bruin go to the drop shot a couple of times. Hasn't quite found the range on that shot. And Nava has 40, struggled 30. on his second serve. He's only won four of 13 points as uh, that number's charted, I'm sure. But he's only dropped one point on his first serve. Needs this point to force a tie break. Couple of double faults here. Deuce. And all of a sudden the pressure tightening going up. Serves abandoned him here. Advantage Nava. That's a real good second serve. And Vorchek just not able to get a clean hit on that backhand. Nice to be able to get a quick point after a couple of double faults. It's his seventh forehand winner out of 14 total winners. He very much has the big serve, big forehand. He's had four aces as well. And Nava. Game, Nava. Forces the tie break. Six games all. Seven win by two. First set. Tiebreak. We'll take the opening Both set in this one boys singles challenge. championship here at the U.S. Open. Emilio Nava of the United States, Jonas Forchek of the Czech Republic. Nava lost in the Australian Open final earlier this year. Forchek's won a couple of majors and doubles this season. One zero, Nava. Check has been the one to struggle a little bit more on his serve in more of his service games in this first set. That could be a little more of a factor in this tiebreak. Could come down to a point or two here. One off.
2-1. Moves ahead 2-1. See any resemblance to Thomas Burdick in him at all? A couple of times I've had flashes of Burdick in my mind when he's playing. The way he looks a bit. Yeah. Not necessarily his game. No. It's some of his ground strokes, uh, like like Burdick. He definitely Too well. looks to try to be a little more aggressive than Burdick would have been yeah. in terms of moving forward, but uh, not a bad comparison. A lot of those Czech players seem to be very similar in the way they play. Big, strong base, forehand, really solid off the ground. I get the sense that this first set is is vital in terms of the momentum. Whoever can get this one will have a real advantage in this final. That's why we see these two fighting so hard for it. Check hit a nice return, but really hit himself out of that point because of how far off the court he was. Nice margin spin from Nava. So 4 2 Nava leading on this changeover. No breaks to serve in the body of the set. Tension, a few more nerves that have come into play at this point in control almost from the start. Just chopped down on that volley too much. from the Ferrero Academy. That's a good response from Fortune. Five, four, Nava. Not going down easily. Keeping some tension in this tiebreak. This has been a very good opening set. has definitely increased here. The women's doubles final over in Ash, so a lot of fans uh, wandering the grounds looking for some tennis ahead of the men's singles final, which is in about 45 minutes from now.
Chance for these juniors to put on a show. Set point. And Game. Nava ends the and set. And set Nava. With an ace. Seven games to six. 123 miles an hour. Ace number five gives him the first set. We'll see if that's enough to subdue for a check. So little between these two in the first set, but it came down to the big points. The first serve points one for Nava, just a bit higher. That was critical, especially in the tie break. And with five aces, he was just a little more aggressive at the end of the set. And also the winners to unforced errors, more than twice as many winners at 18, 20 unforced errors, pretty good differential. And in the end, he was just a little bit more confident. Time. Second set, Nava to serve. Log 15. Fifteen all. Fifteen thirty. Anger in that forehand after losing that set. Yeah, this is where you can either go one direction, which is go down and get disappointed and discouraged, or you can rise to the occasion. It would be big if Forcheck could come back in this second set right out of the gate and get an early break of serve. I like the way these two have competed. Yeah? No, uh, 15 40. Nothing that would indicate these two aren't just good sportsmen, just hard working players. I, I like it. Like the spirit in which this match is being played, even that's just a good play right down the middle. Well, they've just competed well, and that's 30, what you 40. like to see in young players as well sense of the moment of when to get down you know make some of those most important shots and seen Nava do that just a little bit better in the tie break but Vorchek still with an opportunity here he's got a break point right away to start the second set oh. and Vorchek breaks for that is the first break first game, of the match. Second set. Yeah, it's not a coincidence that it happened right at the beginning of the second set. Those are 
times or there are opportunities. Nava winning that first set, maybe dropping just slightly in terms of his intensity or his focus, relaxing a little bit after taking that first set and forecheck ready to pounce. And you noticed it, Sam, a little disappointed not winning that first set. He had a little more fire in that return game and it paid off. Vorchek's taken five of the first seven points of this set. up there at the net more instinctive with his first step and then closing beautifully he only came in seven times in the first set he's already been in four times here and we're in the second game he's won all four points Dan Foretek has just been lights out in the first couple of games here Foretek leads two he's games to love of games second very set. quickly to open the second set for Nava to just settle back down to stop this run of games by four check and keep himself within touching distance here in this second set. Fifteen off. hammering away here in the second set. I mean, he's come out and we thought they were aggressive in the first set. He's upped it. Yeah, but it's been more controlled aggression from Forcheck. Real clear about the moves he's trying to make. Fifteen forty. And Forcheck, he hasn't been overplaying or overhitting because He's hitting to get himself in position up there at the net, much safer. Although he's continuing to go for it. And Nava in trouble again on serve. Game, Freitag. So Freitag is uh, running away with his second set. He's Freitag already up two breaks. He went the love. whole second first set, set without a break. First set, Nava.
time. Wait, please. Inava in a deep hole here for check up Thank two you. breaks after surrendering the first set. And it just kind of fits the pattern of this match. Both these two young men, excellent competitors. Tentative during that rally, and Nava saw the openings using the drop shot very nicely with Forecheck a couple of feet behind the baseline. All the emotion in this match has been positive. This is a no whining court, Chanda. Oh, I, like, I like it. I like it too. Ah. They just get on with the business Love at hand. 30. A little bit of nervous forehand. Nava trying to get an opportunity to get one of those breaks back. Fifteen thirty. Thirty all. Goes back even to 30 all. Forcheck has won 14 of the 19 points played in this set. That, in this case, is an indication of just how well he's played. That's a big time point. A good adjustment 40, there. Giving himself a lot of room to work with. But using really important patterns. Good aggressive point by Nava. Not the best swinging volley, but didn't let it create the miss. Advantage for a pick. So Forcheck trying to keep his two break lead intact. Forentech leads four games to love. Second for love, for check out in front here in the second. This is a team breathing a lot easier right now. Even in the first set, though, I mean, he didn't play poorly. That was just a fantastic first set. And he's asserted himself here in the second. Well, I think he's made a good adjustment as well for check. He's not lingering on the baseline as long. an amazing shot back. Forcheck perhaps thinking this was going to land long, the, the lob. Fifteen off. Forcheck is also taking advantage of just a few more misses from Nava. 
who's gotten a little out of control at times. Another bit of an opening here. Fifteen forty. Four check could pretty much ice the set here with another break. Ah! Mr. Freitag is challenging a call on the right baseline. Worth the challenge. The ball was called out. Scotty Moore of Wilmington, North Carolina. Go to the chase review and confirm that that was out. Good call by the linesman. 34. Oh. Game. So that pretty Break much. Technique. Five games secures to love. the fact that we're headed to a final set, set in this Mr. U.S. Freitag Open Boys Singles two Championship. Two challenges remaining. As uh, Nava going over to talk to his team and probably get in a good frame of mind for the third. Check serving for a final set. Fifteen up. Problem for Nava right now is he's making some of the same misses without really adjusting. Knows it, tapping his head. Not easy to do under pressure in these moments. That's yeah, much better. 30, Having a target, maybe keeping Nava a little more focused. Getting a bit more margin here over the high part of the net. Got to get enough air under those shots. Oh. Ah. Forty eight fifteen. Set. So we are headed to Six a games final to set. One, One set, set determines who wins the U.S. Open Boys Singles Championship.
the second set, much different for Forecheck than the first, improving his first serve percentage, winning a much higher percent off first serves. And for Nava, only winning 25% of the points behind his first serve. And that's why it was one of the reasons why it was so one-sided. Of course, the break point opportunities, everything in Forecheck's column. Winners eight to just three unforced, played such a clean second set, a good adjustment by Forecheck. time. Final sets, Nava to serve. One set determines our champ. Oh. We'll see if that was just a, a fluke, if Nava took a set off, or if this is a sign of things to come. He got down right away and just never had a formula to come back. That's a good first point. Well, sometimes when you lose a set so one-sided, you can almost forget about it a little bit easier than if you had chances and it was a long, grinding set. I've talked to enough of you former players uh, that many of you have said that sometimes that's not a great thing to win a set six love. No, sometimes, it, you know, you can kind of get a little complacent after such a one sided set. You didn't really have to battle as much. Not as easy to maintain a high level. Three straight winners to open this third set. This is just fantastic power. There's no way you can catch up to that. That last set took 20 minutes. Opening game, game for Nava final as set. he pumps himself up. Very important hold for Nava. Lost his serve at this stage in the second set. No letdown, though, in that game. Made some good first serves. I should say he actually won them all off of second serves, yeah. but was really aggressive behind that second serve. This is where Forecheck now pressures right back on him to reset here. Mr. Nava is challenging the call on the left baseline. The ball was called out. Nava wants some confirmation of that call. Not too good. And he's wrong. He's done a fantastic job in this match. Shot. Mm -hmm. A little bit open stance. Challenges remaining. 
So it wasn't easy for Nava to read this shot, and Forchak places it exactly where he needed to get it away from Nava. Fifteen. Forty-eight, fifteen. Really tries to thread the needle on that sideline, especially. He's missed a lot of balls in that on that ad side of the court. Game point four check. Check holds. So Dave One game all, here to final start set. the final set and the boys singles final here at the U.S. Open. Men's singles final coming up in about 20 minutes in Arthur Ashe Stadium. Rafa Nadal and Daniil Medvedev, the two winningest players on tour this year, meeting in the year's final major. And these two hope to get to that threshold at some point in their careers. They're just starting. Good crowd is filtered in here to watch these two. This is an Armstrong. Love 15. Nava throwing in the double. That's his fourth. He had a couple in a single game earlier in the match. Started firing again for Nava in this third set, finding the range. That's been the big weapon, especially in that first set, getting through it in the tie break. Thirty. That backhand over again. Had it lined up perfectly. Nava. He has been dictating things today. Twenty-five winners, thirty-three unforced errors. Sixteen winners, fourteen unforced errors for four jackets. Feast or famine for Nava. He wins big or loses big. Passionate though. I think he's got, 40. even if he loses this match, which he's a long way from doing it. I love what I've seen from him today, Chanda. Would you would you agree he's got a lot of upside? Absolutely. I and mean, I think both players do. Slightly different reasons, but Nava, the fact that you know he goes after it, isn't afraid out there. And that's a game you can really work with and work from. Just get a little more margin at times. From Nava to 30, save a break point. He's got one more to face. I think it's tougher to try to teach players to get more aggressive, especially if they don't really have a weapon, a big weapon. But Nava don't have to do that at all. It's a mindset too. I, I, I think that a lot of players that grow up pushers, kind of conservatively, they they will retreat back to that even if they can develop a big weapon. I remember Andy Roddick saying that at times he felt like he would get too passive even with all the arsenal he had because that's how he played when he was a kid. And 
Voracek Again, takes Voracek. control of the third. He breaks Voracek leads to lead two, two games one. to one. Final set. Time. Well, Emilio Nava, despite uh, flashes of brilliance, he's not negotiating this match the way he would want. As Jonas Forcheck has grabbed the break here in the third, work for Nava ahead of him if he wants to get back into this. Forcheck did not surrender the break. He just extended his left. lead once he got it in the second set. It's certainly early and plenty of time for Nava to come back. Thirty love. It's important here for Forcheck to just keep pushing forward. That is. One of the ways he was able to turn around that second set, immediately getting more aggressive in terms of his court positioning. Good start to this game. 40 love. Game for Apex. Impressed with how Forcheck takes to care one. of things when he Final gets a sense. lead. He's, there's been no let off from him. He's a good front runner. Nava bending over back there. I think he's just trying to gather his thoughts. But again, the, the spirit in which these two have competed, there's been no whining, no excessive anger or disappointment. These two have just stepped up and played in a good spirit. And it's definitely not, not outside the realm of possibility left. to see Nava come back in this set. It's just down a break. Yeah, he's got to keep some belief and just hold on to his serve as much as possible here. Oh. And four check on the left. other side can afford to take a few swings, maybe try to get another break of serve, but for Nava, he wants to stay st stay solid, make some adjustments, cut down on those couple of misses that he had in his last service game. And just keep love. the pressure, put it right back on four check. Not easy, closing out a match, trying to take a big title. Chasing. For down a break. Three games to the two. Final, final set, set of the final.
time. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Mr. Navis challenging the call on the right gonna service line. Issue a challenge here. And this might be just a. Attempt to slow four checks rhythm down a little bit. I don't think he's going to win this challenge. But that was a couple of quick points from four checks, so pretty smart to maybe try to throw off his rhythm a little bit. 40 left. 40 left. Just Turn solid serving from four check in some big moments. Made a real nice adjustment. After that first set, oh, Nava, waiting 40, on 15. that. That felt good. Yeah, it's been impo important for Forecheck to hit his targets on his serve because when he doesn't, that's the reply most often from Nava. He's very ready to step in. Oh my goodness, he got that. That's 40, an incredible 30. return. <laughs> I mean that Maybe a slight miss hit. Yeah, I mean, how do you create this angle? That is almost impossible to create <laughs> with that kind of pace. Game point. That puts a little question mark in Forecheck's mind, anyway. <laughs> and Nava breaks. Deuce. It doesn't break, but breaks back to Deuce. Three extremely strong points from Nava and Forcheck. He has to be shaken just a bit how aggressive Nava has been. Nava's won three straight points. Ball striking from Nava off both wings. Not afraid to step in, take the backhand just a little bit early. Boom. Break point Nava. His first chance since the opening set. Check right now, just trying to hang in some of these rallies. Doing an excellent job there. as many Great unforced tech. errors, twice as many winners as Forecheck. Forecheck's 
really played the role of an aggressive counter puncher in this match. Just kind of waiting to see what Nava's going to do. He's only hit one winner in this set, and he's up a break. Game for Atec. Warchak New ball continues please. to stay in front by a break. Atec leads as Nava four games unable to, two. to convert Final in set. that game. That was a very tough hold, and Forcheck stepping it up mentally and just battling, competing, finding a way to win those last few points. Nava grabbing a different racket. See if that changes his fortune here. He's pretty disappointed in himself. That's really the first mental beating I've seen either player give themselves. He's really disappointed in himself right now. Yeah, he had that forehand on break point. It's right where he wanted it. Missed it into the net. Oh, that's a Really a backhand left. hit, though. But as Forcheck gets a little bit better with those types of moves, he'll pause a bit, get that split step, which he didn't get on that point. Threw him off balance on the half volley. Nicely done by Nava, taking advantage. Thirty left. But it's so important after disappointment, not capitalizing to reset, to kind of let go of those mistakes and move on as quickly as possible. And Nava doing that here. Forcheck with just one winner. That was his fourth unforced error in this set. For the match, 16 winners, 18 unforced errors. Big numbers from Nava. He's actually had 11 winners and nine errors in this set, so a little cleaner. 40-15. Five double faults now. Two of them have been here in this third set. Forty thirty. This is where the tension, the pressure starts to build for Nava, who's down a break. Cannot afford to drop serve here. That's a good return. Forcheck smartly being aggressive, but giving himself a lot of space and making Nava have to play that ball. And this is a critical game for Nava. Let Nava down here in the forehand going off. Then real trouble for the American. This would be catastrophic and a great opportunity for Forcheck. He could serve out the championship. Missed it, and Game. that's exactly Four what's going to happen. Jonas Voracek of the Czech leads. Republic. Five games to two. Final for sense. the U.S. Open title after this changeover.
time. So four checks serving for a U.S. Open title. Fifteen, love. Four check has dropped only one point on his first serve here in this final set. Getting in his way there, 15 all. He's up two breaks. It's good shot selections from Forecheck. Even though he lost that point, he was making the right plays, the right moves. Nava would love to have that over again. Forty fifteen championship point for Jonas Foracek of the Czech Republic to wrap up his junior career with a U.S. Open title. Championship point evaporates. One more here this for Forchak. Well, this is where you just have to breathe. You have to try to find ways to relax yourself here. Is the US six, seven, six, champion. six two. You mentioned that these two are friends. They have a, seem to have a good relationship. You saw it there at the end. But it, the day belonged to Forchek, who, after that first set, was so impressive with the way he recovered. for the men's final, so we're seeing some of the fireworks going on over Ash Stadium. Fighter Jets. But Forchek, he was impressive there. Immediately in that second set, turning things around, got more aggressive, was more solid with the winners to unforced errors, and in the end, that made the biggest difference along with the serve. He was so clutch when he needed to be.